Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, one Mike in downtown Detroit celebrating Black History Month with a comedy series. Yeah, get a few laughs in. Legends of Laughter features two comedians from Def Jam and Comic View. One of the comedians, we have Michael here with us, and we also have one Mike CEO, Kim Moore. Thanks a lot for coming in this morning. Thank you. So let's start with you, Kim. Give us a little idea about how you came up with this idea and what's going, going down. So comedy has such a rich legacy, and we wanted to celebrate that legacy during Black History Month. And so we came up with the Legends of Laughter. We're so honored to have the incomparable, the fantastic. Ha, incomparable, mm, I like incomparable. it. Incomparable. No one compares to <laughs> Michael <laughs> Collier. I'm so um, He is the you. first, we, he's on our first weekend of shows at One Mike. One way to kick Fantastic. it off. Fantastic. So, Michael, what do you think about being here in Metro Detroit? And, and tell us a little bit. Give us a sneak Completely peek of the show. Completely blown away by all of it. First of all, I love Mike Epps. Mike Epps has opened this club. It's fantastic. It's beautiful in every way. You still have the cereal bar? We still have the cereal bar. They have a cereal bar. bar. It's a whole bar with nothing but cereal. Every type of cereal you can imagine. It is phenomenal. But the place is beautiful. It's over 200 seats. And it's my first time. I came for the, what, we come, what was it called when I came before? They're like a soft opening. Yeah, we have and, soft opening. And I came just to let people know it's there. But Mike Epps is a legendary comedian, as am I. And for me to have this opportunity <gasps> Hello. to come Whoa. on to Detroit, I love Detroit. I'm from Chicago, Project Robert Telehome, 4352 South State Park, 9 on that. So Detroit is just like Chicago, but you got to take a left at the corner. So to be able to come here and tell jokes and to move my books, too, because I'm also an author. I have a new children's book called Little Bobby White. It's by a little, a little kid who always wins because he always chooses to do the right thing. Yeah, I, I deliberately call it Bobby White, but you see, it's a black kid. Yeah, I see it. Because it has nothing to do with the color. It has to do with a lesson that we're not teaching anymore. That children need to be taught the lesson to be good for goodness sake. Just be good. And we don't teach that anymore. And right actions bring about right results. But me, I'm 37 years in this game as a comedian. Me and Mike go way back. We got Alex Haley's. We got Roots. I knew Mike Epps when he had no money. Now he rich enough, man. He loaned Jesus some money the other day. He rich. <laughs> so I'm just happy to be here. I do motivational uh, comedy. I talk about my family. I talk about love, you know. I've been married now 113 days to the greatest woman in the whole wide world, and she owns the number one soul food restaurant in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Incidentally, I want to apologize to my mama when I say this, but this woman makes a better salmon croquette. Oh, you're, you're oh, getting in trouble. trouble. I hope mama's is not watching you this morning. You are not in too. trouble. Uh -oh. She held that title for 64 years, but to be able to come here, to come to a great city like Detroit, to a brand new great club, and to be the first one on the first show, the headliner, is a supreme blessing, and I'm very honored to do that, it, you know? Yeah, it, it's gonna be a fantastic, uh, and it starts off with you. Now tell us, you said you've been around a while, 37 years. Oh yeah. So, you know, uh, voiceovers you've done, a uh, bit of acting as well, yes. uh, you're an author. You come back to stand-up all the time. What is it about stand-up that you really love? I never leave stand-up. I don't come back to stand-up. You stand -up. don't come back, that's leave. right. It's been the I go to other stuff, yeah. but because that's my center and my focus. It all began with comedy for me and I think that comedy is healing if you can laugh through a thing you can get through a thing no matter what it is so we're actually having an opportunity to heal people and I'm an addict I did crack for 23 years and come March 1st I'll have 14 years of pure sobriety so in my act I get to talk about my addiction and my recovery so I get to heal people while at the same time they keep giving me money oh it's <laughs> yeah. beautiful it's a beautiful thing you know and, good now, trade. and now we're doing a book you know my first book was on my president Barack Obama Funny thing happened on the way to the White House, I knocked on the door and a brother answered. And then, and it's a classic, I only sold 14,000 copies, but we still push them. And then <laughs> little Bobby White, so we get to do books, I get to just live my dream. Yeah. You know, that's what we all want to do as human beings, to unfold into our greater selves, mm -hmm. to find out what it is that we're really here for, what are we meant to do. And once we find that, everything else becomes easy. It becomes just like breathing. And then if you mess around and get a connection, because I met the woman of my life, of my dreams, in, in the Hebrew faith, they say it's a thing called a besherta, where everybody's perfect half, the souls. But when you find your half, you become whole, and you never look again because your heart sings a royal song. And people say, well, if that's true, why are there so many divorces? You didn't find your besherta. You found somebody that was close, and you settled. I have found my besherta. Now I'm whole. So everything I've ever wanted to do in my life is, is at my fingertips. It's coming to me. I'm manifesting like crazy because I have balance. You know, so I'm just happy to do what I do. And I also have a morning show on YouTube. I've done only 600, no, 
765. But the Michael Kaya Morning Show, five days a week on YouTube. We have comedy every show, a musical artist, and we pray. Because I want to create a show where you can get up every morning and start your day with laughter and prayer. Mm -hmm. If you start with laughter and prayer, you create a force field around your positivity. Get up every penetrate. morning. It sounds yes. like you never go to sleep. I, I know. Yeah. Your energy. I need to bottle some of this up. We need to spare some of this. So, Michael, obviously headlining. Tell us a little bit about who else you have coming in. So, uh, next week, we have the amazing Melanie Camacho. Yes. It's been a long time since she's been in Detroit. We're so excited to have her. Love her. And then, you know, we're celebrating the comedy's rich legacy all year long. So you'll see names like J. Anthony Brown and Marsha Warfield and many, many others Dominique. coming soon. Dominique mm -hmm. is also coming And back. just talk a little bit about the comedy scene in Detroit. I mean, I know Michael's from Chicago originally, mm -hmm. but talk about the appreciation we have for comedy in the city. You know, comedy has a rich legacy, even in Detroit. When you think to artists like Timmy Rogers and Sinbad, who's from Battle Creek, but mm -hmm. it's not, it's just around the corner. And many other fantastic... Over there Battle Creek, they make some good cereal. Yeah, they do, <laughs> they do. And many other fantastic comedians. Uh, Detroit's own queen of comedy, Coco. Yes! So many I'm fantastic... I'm sorry, Coco is fantastic. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> she is. Detroit loves comedy. It is probably mm -hmm. the number one comedy city for events and concerts. So we're excited to be a part of what has already been created as a great foundation. But oh. check Mike Epps. Mike Epps is a comedian who's coming back to give to other comedians. He is. By doing this, he's opened the door for another two, three hundred comedians to work, you know? And, and that's just a beautiful thing to give back. You he's gotta remember good. where you come from. Right. And know? he's paying it forward. He is. Yes, he Not is. to cut you off. And we were giving out the information that we had it up on the screen. Tell folks how they can get tickets to the show. So you can go to our website, uh, www.onemikedetroit.com. Simple as that. I gotta say, Angela Michelle's name of Culinary Kisses. She's a cook here, a chef of mine. I just want to give her a shout out. And a great Josiah Jones. Josiah Jones is a great comedian. He's here from the Detroit area. I just want to say shout outs. And I thank y'all so much for doing this for us and giving us so much time. Usually we end out here in two minutes. So thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Well, give that. us one more honk on the old chicken there. There you go. Yeah, got a couple more in. Michael, it's thank you. Kim, thank you. We appreciate time. it. Hey, we got to take a quick break here on CBS News at 8. Back in a couple of I minutes. I love Detroit.